All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Alan Thomas, a.k.a. Shadow Assassins. And I know it's getting near the end of 2021. 2022 is around the corner. And this is usually the time of the year where people start planning on making manga, comics, whatever it is that you want to call it. They're starting on new projects at the beginning of the year. And with new ideas come new problems. And one big one is writer's block. And that's specifically what I want to talk on today. In part because I have my own problems with writing's, uh, writer's block with making comics. And I've currently had a few bouts of that now. So, <laughs> by the way, I'm one of those people that will be working on new comics in 2022. So, yeah, this is just as helpful for me as it is for you. I'm going to talk about four main points that I personally or things that help me out with writer's block and things that I do to sort of get over it. One of them are going to be completely contradictory to the other three that I have, but I have four main points. The first one is, and it's very frustrating because sitting down to try to come up with new story ideas and nothing's coming to you or you're struggling trying to piece things together in your mind and things are getting cluttered and just all sorts of issues that just come with trying to forcibly be creative and how much of a struggle that can be, especially when you don't know what it is you're trying to create at the time. The first thing you have to keep in mind is to not try to like force ideas out. Nine times out of 10, a lot of the stuff that you come up with in your mind, you're going to retool and kind of change anyways. So don't get mad if you can't forcibly like try to make yourself come up with some brand new idea that's going to like change the world or something. I know sometimes we feel like as artists, especially if you're writing a comic and just turn on a switch and like an idea is just going to jolt in your head if you focus on it hard enough. That rarely does happen. So don't get in the mindset of thinking that you have to like make an idea come to you. Like it's not going to work that way. And the ideas that do come, you're going to retool them and change them anyway. So don't get too tied up in stuff like that. The other thing is, and this goes with the first one, and that is to not necessarily get mad at yourself if you can't come up with ideas. If you're making a new comic, it's going to take time in the first place. I mean, there's especially if you're writing the story and doing the art on your own, like that's going to take a lot of time. You need to worry about what the world is going to look like in world building. You need to do character designs, figure out what everybody's going to look like. People need backstories. You still have to figure out what the general gist of your whole story or whole comic is in the first place. Like there's so much to think about. You can't necessarily get upset with yourself if you're not able to come up with anything as fast as you would like, because it's like this is a process anyways. It's going to take a while. So be kind of patient with yourself. I've actually gone through that myself where I actually gave myself a deadline years ago of about like I was going to take like six months to work on the story of a comic, which in my mind I thought was going to take way too long. It turned out that I ended up taking two years to work on the story of the comic. Six months was not even as long as I thought it was about to be. And what made it sort of longer was the me getting upset with myself for not having it done what I thought I should have. It only prolonged the misery. So, like, just understand that it's a process and it's going to take some time and don't try to just rush. Now, this isn't to say that you need to, like, spend a decade trying to come up with an idea. Like, if that's the case, you you may be doing the wrong thing in life. Like, you may want to come up with something different if it's taking you that long. But, yeah, it's seriously, just take your time and ideas will come when they come. Like, just don't get too impatient. Another thing that helps with writer's block, too, is sort of taking time out to focus on things that actually inspire you. Or in some cases, things that may kind of distract you from working on the story. Uh, this may sound counterproductive. I'm not telling you to out. I'm not giving you an excuse to procrastinate because I know a lot of people would actually use this as one. If I was listening to me right now, I would use it as an excuse to procrastinate. But no, I'm not necessarily saying that. But. Finding things that actually inspire you or that sort of like, I don't know, video games or TV shows or mangas or comic books to read or whatever that actually gets you motivated or is sort of in the genre or gist of what you're trying to write. Like diving into those things may kind of help you out. So I would actually do that. Like I know personally because working on Infinite Uppercut, 
a lot of the things I was doing was based around fighting games. I would actually, if I had trouble coming up with ideas or writing anything, I would just take time out and just start playing fighting games just to see, A, it was relaxing for me, depending on how much I was winning or losing. And ideas would sort of come off over time. So I'd be able to like get inspired and be able to work through that. It may not be video games for you. It could be whatever interests you or whatever may be pertaining to your comic, but just sort of diving in those things a little bit, almost shutting the brain off to your comic and doing something different. It's amazing how ideas will sort of flow to you that way rather than you sitting down and forcibly trying to make something happen. Which leads me to my final point. And this may be frustrating and this is going to contradict the last three things that I said may help you out with dealing with writer's block and writing a story. Matter of fact, it's definitely going to be contradictory, and that is to actually set aside time to work on your story, no matter what. I know I said not to forcibly make ideas happen, and I'm not telling you to do that, but at the end of the day, you still need to be trying to write something. So to set aside time, whether it's to sit with a pad and pencil or to sit at your computer and stare at Microsoft Word or WordPad or whatever it is that you use, and schedule out even if it's nothing more than like 30 minutes to an hour a day to get ideas flowing or drop something down even if you come up with nothing just to sit down and actually try to work on something and formulate ideas is still helpful a lot of times we kind of wait for the perfect idea to come to us and then think oh i'll just work then that's not the most productive thing at the end of the day you still need to work and if you have ideas coming to you throughout the day or at different times if you're setting aside time to actually make sure you do right on stuff that'll still help you out in the long run and it'll help to get the ball rolling so it may not sound like it makes sense and it may sound like the complete opposite of everything else that i said earlier but trust me even if you're not coming up with anything even if you can't type a single word down or you get nothing more than like a sentence type, that is still helpful. And you need to make sure that you're still productively working at the end of the day. Like that's all that that does. It's just making sure that you get in the mind frame of what you're trying to do and you sit down and work. Like I said, there may be times where you get absolutely nothing out of it and you don't get anything written down, no new ideas come to you or anything like that. It can happen, but you still need to be doing that every day. So that may sound like some insane advice, <laughs> especially if you struggle with writer's block and you just can't come up with anything. But at the end of the day, just know like that's okay. You're not going to have an idea every minute of every day, all the time. Like it's, it's fine. If nothing's coming to you, it happens. But the key is to just keep working and keep trying to come up with something new. Like I said, I'm having the same issues with that right now with the ideas and stuff that I keep having for my new comic. That's why I keep a notebook handy on me. And I guess this should be tip number five. I keep a notebook on me and sort of a, a notepad app in my phone to where if I'm not able to like type stuff down or write anything down, or sit down and actually write story ideas down. If anything will come to me, I'll just go in my phone and just jot something down real fast in my phone or write it in a small notebook that I keep on me just so that I have that thing present in my mind so that when I later work on stuff, I can start fleshing out ideas. So yeah, the key is to working through writer's block is to make sure that you're working through writer's block. Like don't give up. Don't get overly frustrated. Just know it's it's going to take time. Ideas are not always going to come to you, and that's okay. Just keep striving at getting your writing done, getting your story worked on, getting your comic completed. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, just keep working. So anyways, that's it for the day. I hope this helped out somebody. Um, <laughs> This is definitely helping out me to keep myself in perspective right about now, but it, in any event, um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know how you handle writer's block and like and subscribe to your channel if you haven't. And you all have a good one and I'm out.